deliver a present to Dr. Chakwas. Uh, she asked me for it last time, and I was actually able to find it. Let's see what's see what's up. How may I help you, Commander? Hey, I've got your brandy. I have a present for you, Doc. Sarah's ice brandy? You didn't. <laughs> I did. Thank you. I always regretted not opening that original bottle when I still could. I won't make the same mistake again. Why don't we open this bottle right here, right now, you and me? All right, let's drink. You crack open the bottle. I'll get the glasses. <laughs> I thought Olenko's biotic display might have broken Jenkins' back, but Jenkins pops up and yells, that was awesome. <laughs> oh, Jenkins. Soldiers like him make the Alliance great. Cerberus lacks the same enthusiasm. Why'd you leave the Alliance? With your service record, you could have gotten a tour of duty on any Alliance ship. Why'd you really leave? Maybe it's less about leaving and more about staying. As a military doctor, I mostly treat people who are in bad shape. Often they die. And if I can help them, they move on. By the way, they leave. You're lonely? Don't you have any friends or family? No, not lacking friendship. Just stability. Jeff, Joker will always have Vrolic Syndrome. He would never admit it, but he needs my help, and he always will. I wish it weren't, but... Sadly, it's true. Ah, there we go. Have a toast to friends. To the people we care for. May we never take them for granted. Everything's so wobbly. Alright, let me get this part to the engineering so the ship doesn't fall out the sky. Reinforcements really threw off the gravimetric profiles, but engines are good to go. I rebalanced the Gilborn coefficients and adjusted the anterior intakes on the second tier stabilizers. I love it when you talk dirty. Whoa, okay, what's going on down here? You're the best, Commander. We just got those FBA couplings installed. Now we only have to calibrate every week instead of every day. We're thinking about celebrating our newfound free time with some Skillion 5 poker. Want to join us? Come on, Kenneth. The commander doesn't want to play cards with grease monkeys like us. I'll play. Actually, that sounds interesting. Fantastic. I'll get the cards. My skill is a bit rusty. You'll be easy on the rookie, right? Of course, commander. It's all friendly. Yeah, right. Be gentle ah. on the rookie. I can't believe we fell for that. It's so worth losing to see you taken down a notch. Beat me up my own game. You're all right, Shepard. Congratulations, guys. Take it easy. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Thanks, Kelly.
Sniper rifle. Arc projector. Heavy rifle. Shotgun. Back to the Silverdale. and receive a free gift. What? Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. So, what do you know about Cerberus? What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission, and were offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. What did? 
And what deal is that? I assume this deal is something I should know about. Yeah, I guess it slipped their minds. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it. And I'm planning to get it back. Who's Donovan Hawk? What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. Are you expecting trouble? I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. Alright, so what's a gray box? I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time. Before Hawk killed him. Alright, we'll take care of it. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. Oh, that's gonna be interesting. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected... Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think... Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. Yeah, I'm not surprised. I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes. I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. You're not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Okay. You know what? Leave it alone for right now. Don't change it. Anonymity is useful on my current mission. Sure, you're a goddamn hero. It's not like we have to worry about you smuggling guns in or something. I just put a block in the system. Officially, you still don't exist. And you won't get hassled by the security checkpoints. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. That's my plan. How do I get there? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. I will. Having access to the Council and the specters' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? No. Um, what happened after Sovereign's attack? It looks like most of the damage from Sovereign's attack has been repaired. The Presidium was pretty shot up, of course. They fixed that first. All the words got hit with debris when the ship exploded. Most of the damage was superficial, and the Keepers got things restored fast. Tasery Ward got the worst. A big chunk hit near the Dillanaga Concert Hall. They're still clearing wreckage and trying to get power restored. I right, take it easy. I should be going. You need anything else, let me know.
Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and seventeen days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC security cordon. Okay. Uh, I need to get to the council. I need to talk to the council. How can I reach the Presidium from here? Public transit shuttles are available on the far side of the C6 security cordon. Alright, thank you. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I heard that those lakes up on the Presidium are filled. This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. Counselor Udina isn't available, but as his top advisor, I speak with his full authority and approval. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander, we were just talking about you. Good to see you, man. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Well, I need your help. The Collectors are abducting human colonists in the Terminus systems. Worse, we think they're working for the Reapers. The Terminus systems are beyond our jurisdiction. Your colonists knew this when they left Council Space. You're missing the important part, Counselor. The Reapers are involved. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard, no one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Why don't you examine Vigil uh, or Sovereign? Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. Why would the Geth follow Saren? Saren was an organic. The Geth would never accept him as their leader. They only followed him because he was Sovereign's agent. Saren was a compelling and charismatic individual. He convinced the Geth the Reapers were real, just as he convinced you. It was part of his plan to attack the Citadel. The Reapers are just a myth. One you insist on perpetuating. We believe that you believe it, but that doesn't make it true. So you won't help me? I guess I'm on my own. Again. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason, a capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. If Councillor Udina were here, he wouldn't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise. Not a public acknowledgement, given your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. Reinstatement? What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Well, thanks. I'm honored.
I accept your offer. It's good to have the Council on my side. Good luck with your investigation, Shepard. We hope for a quick resolution and a quick end to your relationship with Cerberus. Well, that went better than expected. You realize the Council's offer is just symbolic. They won't actually do anything. No need to burn bridges. Even if they don't help, I might as well stay on good terms. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard. What are you doing here? Surprised. Not used to seeing ghosts, Udina? I'd heard you were alive, of course, but I didn't expect to see you back on the Citadel. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You went to the Council behind my back. Do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? Relax. The meeting went well. The Council reinstated my Spectre status. They're just happy I'm staying out in the Terminus systems. Yes, I could see how that arrangement works best for both sides. But you still had no right to do this without my knowledge. Maybe it's time the Alliance found me a new advisor. You know, firing Anderson would be a bad idea, Udina. Do you really want people to know your advisor arranged a deal without you? You can say you knew all along, or you can explain to the Alliance how you want to replace me for doing your job. You don't leave me much choice, but I know this game. I'll tell the other counselors I'm on board. All right, goodbye. So long, Counselor. Maybe we'll meet again sometime. I think it would be best if I kept my distance. Strictly for appearances, of course. What an ass. As bad as Udina was before, he's ten times worse now that he's part of the Council. Better him than me, though. And he's done a good job promoting Alliance interests with the Citadel. He's not helping me any. If we don't stop the Reapers, it doesn't really matter what he does. Unfortunately, his mind is made up just like the rest of the Council. You're better off focusing your energy on stopping the Collectors than trying to get them to listen to your warnings. How have you been? How have the last couple of years treated you? Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Yeah, why don't you just come with me? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. Alright, so what happened to the, the damage to the Citadel? How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. Now, what about the remains of Sovereign? I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. Hey, um, I have to ask, what happened to Ashley Williams? What happened to Gunnery Chief Williams after the Normandy was destroyed? Operations Chief Williams is still with the Alliance, but she's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Alright, I'll t- 
Well, let's go. Ah, oh, man. It's good to see you. I'm gonna take off now. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. Commander, you've received a new message at your private terminal. Of course I did. Come on, buddy. Got a minute to talk. Yes, we'd like that actually. Talked about work earlier. Time with special tasks group studying genophage. It wasn't entirely honest. Lie of omission. Also, other kinds need to clear the air. Mission too important to keep secrets. Work on genophage was more than just study. Oh, okay, what'd you do? What was the special task group doing with the Krogan genophage? Study at first, as I said, but uncovered surprising data. Krogan population was increasing at faster rate than expected. Krogan were adapting to genophage, overcoming disease. Uh, isn't that good news? The genophage was a terrible mistake. It nearly destroyed the Krogan and their culture. Now they have a chance to recover. Naive viewpoint. Krogan too dangerous to allow unchecked birth rate. Look at Krogan rebellions. Personally led a science team. Geneticists, chemists, sociologists, mathematicians. Created new version of Genophage. Released it onto Chanka, other Krogan-centric areas. Restabilized Krogan population. Uh, why not go all the way? If the Krogan are so dangerous, why not just sterilize them outright? Not a war criminal. Not a murderer. Genocide. Unnecessary. Krogan as a whole. Violent. Aggressive. Still have outliers. Worth saving. Genophage modification protected galaxy. Allowed Krogan chance to survive. Everyone wins. Good for us, good for them. And what did the modification do? How did your genophage modification work? Krogan evolution attached garbage genetic code to genophage attack sites. Modification created other areas for garbage code to connect. Left sites clean, capable, running smoothly. Oh. Thanks for telling me, Morton. I doubt you've told many people about this, Morton. I appreciate you letting me know. Wanted you to know I'm willing to do what's necessary. Should get back to work. Talk more later. Next time, tissue synthesis has to compile. Good for free time. Gotcha. No messages for you, Commander. All right, take it easy, Kelly.
probe launched. In research projects, iridium is used to upgrade heavy weapons, submachine guns, and assault rifles. launched. Ooh, need that plan. Launching probe. In research projects, platinum is used to upgrade sniper rifles, shotguns, and medical equipment. Launched. You can just buy this Probe stuff away. out, right? Probe launched. In research projects, palladium is used to upgrade heavy pistols, armor, and cybernetics. Probe away. Probe. Just warned the Palladium Probe 4 away. was killing Tony Stark. Launching Probe. Solomon Gunn? I assume Solomon Gunn is my cover? You run a small but talented band of mercs out in the Terminus systems. Precisely the type of person Hawk respects. I took the liberty of giving you a reputation. Papers, witnesses, article in Badass Weekly. Just don't start talking business with him, and you'll be fine. Alright, so what's the plan? Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend, Hawk, is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend, Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. Oh, it sounds easy. This You've worked really hard on this. KG must have meant a lot to you. Was I that obvious? KG's gray box holds a lot of priceless personal memories. It's all that remains of who he was. But the secret he discovered is dangerous. I wouldn't bring you here if it wasn't. Alright, let's go. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop.
After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met. Donovan Hawk. Solomon Gunn. Solomon Gunn. A pleasure. Sir, the scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Uh, so we have a problem? Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. Well, it is your house. Okay. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Did he recognize you? Any idea why he'd send you away? No. We've never seen each other in person. And no one knows what I look like. Just watching his ass, I'm sure. I All can't right, blame him. so what's him. the plan? So what are we gonna do now? What do we do now? We go on with the plan. You'll just have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. I suppose it's, I should mingle. How did you ever contain that situation on the hollow? Oh, that? A quick application of force, a little pressure, and bam, done. Thank goodness I thought those rabbits would dog you for years. That goes to a security room. We'll probably have to get in there at some point. Let's case the- Some say Commander Shepard is still alive. Really? Oh, please. It's wishful thinking, at best. Is the gun. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. Where is the vault? Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password, too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails. If we can find it. KG could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it. It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. We should cut the power last, just in case. Voice ID. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull 
have the charm on this one, Jen. Whenever you're ready. All right, I'm ready now. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. Are you expecting trouble? I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work, we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me and you are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. Get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. Locked down tight, and security chief Road is in charge. No way Road would let uh, get past her. I'd rather stand around bored on guard duty than risk her wrath. Sorry, Samuels. Chief Road, huh? She sounds like a hard ass. If we could tap into the guard's communications, I could probably use this information. I hear really? Mr. Hawk's vault is exquisite. Who could know? He never lets anyone near it. Right now. Surprised no one heard that. Still surprised no one heard that. Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. Yeah, quick and quiet. Got, got thrown out the window. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> Found a sample? No, a credit chit. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. 
We can get some skin cells from the dust. It's probably contaminated, though. We should find another sample. Ooh, all safe bypass. Flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Hmm. No DNA. Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Cagey's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. Progress to report. We have now completed dictionary attacks using words and phrases from 4,800 galactic languages. Research into the Akuda family has not produced any matches. It is unlikely that a random brute force approach will produce any results within our lifetimes. Given the nature of the gray box technology, it's possible that the description key may not be a password at all. It could be a memory, an emotion, even a smell. The permutations could be infinite. I suggest that we begin investigating alternative methods for breaking through the security box. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. That should do it. Let's get out of here. How the hell did they do that? I don't know. Jumped down, shut the guards, broke the window. You didn't hear someone breaking a window? No gunshots? I can't hear anything with the music in there. Can't get there. Look straight ahead. Seem to work. All right, no password yet. Let's check the security. Let me unlock that security room door for you. There we go. Ready when you are. what you can find. Nance? I have that problem too. So many passwords around here. Can't keep them straight. The password for tonight is Perugia. So it's not even that easy to remember. It's no big deal. That voice scanner means that password's only useful to Hawk anyway. After this party, you want to grab some beers? Let me know. Samuels. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. 
That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scanner. Alright, let's do this thing. One sec. That should take care of the barrier. That got it. The barrier's down. DNA identification affirmed. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Password required. Perusia. Voice ID accepted. Welcome, Mr. Hawk. Sweet. I'll check for security cams. Go ahead and get dressed. So this is Hawk's fault. Very nice. This scanner will hone in on the gray box. It's not far. Creepy. Tell me about it. You should have been on Ilos. I could still get money for something like this, even outside the Alliance. Asari go nuts for this sort of thing. That's a Casa Locust. No, THE Casa Locust. The gun that killed two presidents. Gorgeous. It even comes with a perfect copy, too. I'm sure Hawk won't mind if we borrowed these. This looks interesting. Oh, must be close. How did Hawk get Lady Liberty's head? Damn you, Hawk! Oh wait, there it is. Oh my god. There it is. Let's get it on display over here. Don't bother Miss Goto. It's code locked. I had a feeling that was you at the door. I knew if it was really you, you'd get through anyway. You know me. 
I don't like to disappoint. I need what's in your grey box, Kasumi. You know I'm willing to kill you for it. I'll admit your skills are impressive. You got into my vault like I'd left it open. But you're still going to die, screaming, just like your... No! Have I got your attention? <laughs> that shot him up. Kill them! the shuttle in.
cover. another way.
Solomon gun. Bring the girls to me. I'll take it though. Don't fight me, Kasumi. You know what happened to your boy Doi when you fought back. You don't talk about Kato like that. Murderer! Just throw my shield! Jesus. I'll take it. Keep them busy. I'll take care of this myself. Oh, I love it when they say that. Get ready. Over there. Fire. 
Could have done this the easy way, Goldro. Allow me to show you the hard way. Up ahead! I can take down the shield. What did you tell your friend, Kasumi? You're doing this for love? apart. Yeah. 
growing dark. They're on my screen! Just been revoked. we found is all here. It's big, Kasumi. If the Council ever got wind of this, the Alliance could be implicated. Kasumi, I... I encrypted the information to keep it safe. And I uploaded the encryption key to your gray box, so no one could get the whole package. But if I'm dead, and if anyone knows about this, then I've made you a target, my love. I'm so... so sorry. Keiji... I know you, Kasumi. You'll want to keep these memories forever. But you don't need some neural implant to know I'll always be with you. Please, Kasumi... Destroy these files. There's nothing more I can do to protect you. I... I can't do that. This is all that's left. Goodbye, Kasumi. I love you.
Can't we save the memories? Is there any way we can just destroy the information? No. Keiji's a master at encrypting files. He laced the information into his memories. You can't get one without experiencing the other. You should keep the gray box. If it's that important to you, keep it. Just make sure you're ready to live with the consequences. Yeah, I am. I'll stay off the grid. No one will know I exist. I think I want this. Thanks, Shepard. Well guys, that's going to do it for me today. Thank you for joining me. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.